Let's go. Motherfucking shit. How to build a resilient mindset. Let's fucking go. Ora, ora. This is gold right here. This right here is gold. So let's get to it. Developing a resilient mindset involves cultivating a specific attitudes and beliefs and behaviors to help individuals navigate challenges, setbacks, adversity effectively. So here are some rules to foster a resilient mindset, all right? Number one, acceptance of reality. Acknowledge and accept the reality of difficult situations and setbacks without denying or avoiding them. If you avoid them, you're a fucking pussy. Embrace the truth of your circumstances and focus on finding constructive ways to cope and move forward. Have that mindset that you're analyzing everything and find ways to construct ways to fucking move forward you know damn to cope with all that motherfucking adversity dog those setbacks so just accept that is gonna be tough period optimism and positive positivity number two so cultivate a positive outlook and optimistic mindset even in the face of adversity focus on finding silver silver linings and opportunities for growth and reasons to be hopeful and grateful. So practice positive self-talk. What are you telling yourself? How are you talking to yourself? And affirmations to maintain a hopeful attitude. Affirmations are so powerful. And I'm saying like present affirmations, not like I will have this, even though that's kind of powerful still, but not as powerful as I am. I am in touch with my highest version of myself right now i am so powerful that i serve with excellence and give value to everyone dude write down affirmations in the present moment number three adaptability and flexibility be adaptable and flexible in response to changing circumstances and unexpected challenges embrace change as a natural part of life and be open to adjusting your goals and plans and strategies as needed to overcome obstacles and achieve success. So embrace change as a natural part of life. Change is just a natural part of life, you know? And be open to adjusting your goals, plans, and strategies as needed to overcome obstacles and achieve success. So always be open to adjusting your goals, plans, and and the strategies always be open like bro that's why a hustler has a plan b because what if fucking plan a doesn't go well people say i just have a plan a nah, nah bro like yeah it's i see where you're coming from because you're saying that you're kind of doubting your plan a that's why you have a plan b but it's good to have it because it's good to know that things are not going to go your way all the time so have a fucking plan b might as well the fuck Bam. Number four, resilient thinking patterns. This one's fucking powerful. Develop a resilient, develop resilient thinking patterns that help you interpret challenges and setbacks in a constructive and empowering way. Challenge negative thoughts. Challenge them. Cognitive distortions. Challenge those. And limiting, limiting beliefs. Challenge those as well. To undermine your resilience. Reframe setbacks as temporary solvable problems rather than insurmountable obstacles so let's say that again bro 
So resilient thinking patterns. Develop resilient thinking patterns that help you interpret challenges and setbacks in a constructive and empowering way. Challenge negative thoughts, cognitive distortions, and limiting beliefs that undermine your resilience. Challenge those motherfuckers. Reframe setbacks as temporary. They're temporary. Solvable problems. They're solvable. And rather than insurmountable obstacles, rather than having that fucking mindset, oh my god, oh my god, dude, dude, oh my god, dude, that's, in, that's impossible, dude, that's impossible. Bruh, there's a reason why impossible is spelled like this. I am possible. Bruh, literally, bruh. That's like a motherfucking sign. It's so fucking obvious. It's literally in front of your face. I'm possible, literally, bruh. Everything's fucking possible. Motherfucker. Boom. Number five. Should I slap myself? Nah, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. All right. <laughs> Number five, yeah. Self compassion and self care. Practice self-compassion and self-care to nurture your emotional and mental well-being during difficult times. Be kind, understanding, and supportive toward yourself, especially when facing setbacks or failures. Prioritize activities that recharge and rejuvenate you, such as exercise, mindfulness, hobbies, and spending time with loved ones. Bam. Give yourself some love. If you can't love yourself, you will never, ever love others unconditionally. That is fucking important to self-develop yourself. Not just like read books and all that, like bam, 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 bam. But also self-acceptance, self-healing, self-compassion. Some people misunderstand this. I have a video on this, on this specifically, so go check it out. Just scroll through my videos, like my thousands of videos, and then you'll see something like about personal development, like the people that misunderstand about personal development. So there's self self improvement and self healing, like self acceptance. So check that out, definitely. Number six, problem solving skills. Develop effective problem-solving skills to address challenges and find practical solutions. Break down problems into smaller, where's it at, bro? Manageable, manageable steps and brainstorm potential solutions. So break down problems into smaller, manageable steps and brainstorm possible potential solutions. Seek advice, guidance, and support from trusted friends, family members, mentors, professionals, when needed. Literally, seek advice. Don't just be like, oh my God, I can do everything by myself. That's ego, bro. Don't let that ego stop you, bro. Like, build a huge ego. Because the bigger the ego, the more you're going to compete with yourself. You're going to be like, damn, motherfucker. Oh, shit. I'm bigger than this motherfucker. Because, dude, the bigger, the more powerful you get, the more the ego is going to attack, try to attack you, the bigger it is. And it's, it's great because there's more improvement. There's more to improve from. There's more fucking, I would say, there's more, there's more wood to the fire. So the fire will keep igniting. And that wood is the ego the ego it's it's either like bad fucking wood or good wood so the bad wood is a fucking ego that's trying to fucking stop you it's trying to stop your fire within from from actually bam spreading that all over the world so i'm letting you know Build a huge ego and learn how to control it. Period, bruh. I'm not sure if that made sense, bruh, but <laughs> I just made that shit up. K, 
Okay, so number seven, resilient relationships. Cultivate strong, supportive relationships with friends, family members, colleagues, and mentors who provide who, who provide encouragement, empathy, and practical assistance during challenging times. Foster connections with individuals who share your values. Offer constructive feedback and inspire you to persevere. Bro, find relationships, foster connections with individuals who share your values. Offer constructive feedback. Those motherfuckers that don't offer you feedback and not, are not truthful and telling you the things that will possibly hurt you, bro, they're too friendly. Those are dangerous. Those are more dangerous than your enemies. Your enemies will tell you what the fuck is going on in your life. They'll literally fucking tell you the truth, period. They'll tell you how to fuck. You have bad breath, bro. They'll literally tell you facts. Bro, I'm telling you, dude. Boom. So cultivate strong and supportive relationships with friends, family members, colleagues, mentors who provide enc encouragement, empathy, practical assistance during challenging times. Bam. Because you'll find out who the fuck really is your friend, your partner, the real one in your life when you're ch dealing with all these challenges literally challenges that's when you find out those motherfucking real ones so yeah let me know let me know hey drop a comment below because i'm i'll be giving free temporary this is temporary temporary by the way free coaching lessons all right and from there, I'm going to raise my prices if I see, like, improvement, which I undoubtedly will see improvement for sure. So, just want to let you know, comment down below so that way we can text and communicate to find a way to give you a free lesson, all right? So, number, six, seven, number eight, focus on growth and learning. Embrace a growth mindset that views challenges and failures as opportunities for learning, growth, and personal development. Approach setbacks as valuable lessons that provide insights and resilience for future endeavors. Celebrate progress, resilience, and achievement, achievements along the way. I like that. Approach setbacks as valuable lessons that provide insights, skills, and resilience for future endeavors. Dude, your failures, your setbacks, you can learn from them. There's so many skills in them that eventually you can learn. The more failures you go through, all these setbacks you go through, you can share those with other people. You can show them and guide them to not make those fucking mistakes. You're literally their guidance. Your, your guidance. Their guidance. You're directing them and helping them avoid those fucking obstacles i'm letting you know that's what the beauty of failures and setbacks are they're teaching you a lesson so have a growth mindset instead of a fucking fixed mindset that just decides to fucking stay there paralyzed succumbing to their weaknesses period bro number nine purpose and meaning Connect, connect with your sense of purpose, your values, and meaning in life to maintain motivation and resilience during difficult times. Clarify what matters most to you. Clarify that shit. And align your actions and decisions with your deepest aspirations and values. Damn, clarify what matters to you the most. And align your actions and decisions with your deepest aspirations and values. I'm fucking letting you know. Match that shit. What are your values and aspirations? Are they huge? Wonderful. What about your actions? What are you doing? Are you fucking watching Netflix and shit? Why, while you're having all these wonderful dreams and shit. You have it on your wall. You have a vision board of all you want. But your actions are fucking weak and not aligned with your dreams. Bro. What the fuck? Wake the fuck up. For real. So 
So make sure you cultivate a sense of purpose that inspires you to overcome obstacles and persevere in, per in pursuit of your goals. Number 10, baby. Let's fucking go. The last one right here. Gratitude and perspective. Cultivate gratitude and perspective by focusing on the positive aspects of your life. Even during challenging times, reflect on your blessings, accomplishments, and strengths, and appreciate the support and resources available to you. Maintain a balanced perspective that acknowledges both the difficulties and the opportunities present in every situation. So cultivate a gratitude and pers perspective. Yeah, cultivate gratitude and perspective. Yeah, cultivate gratitude and perspective by focusing on the positive aspects of your life even during challenging times write out a list of what you're grateful for bam even for the smallest things and then you'll start receiving more of that what you're grateful for you get more of it the universe is built in a way that if you're grateful for a certain thing It'll reward you with more. That's just how the universe works. So that's it, y'all. So by integrating these rules into your mindset and daily life, you can enhance resilience, cope effectively with adversity, and thrive in the face of challenges. Let me say that again. I hope you're fucking literally, like literally feeling my words. Deep into your soul. Because this shit's gonna fucking level you up. You can even repeat the whole video. If you're a fucking actually a winner. That's willing to go over this again. To really understand it deeply. So, hey. By integrating these rules into your mindset and daily life. You can enhance your resilience. Cope effectively with adversity. And thrive in the face of adverse of challenges and adversity too. Wake the fuck up. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe for more value. I'm willing to give it all to you. We are here to, we are here to level up. Like I said, comment down below if you want a free lesson from me. It'll be like a 30 minute coaching. Oh, sorry. Sorry. From, it'll be like a 30 minute coaching call, right? So I love y'all. Wake the fuck up.